I, I think it has a shot at being the most memorable um, product unveil ever. It has a shot. If we look at the EV market in 2025, one reality becomes clear. Tesla is facing a tough challenge. Sales are no longer exploding the way they once did, and the stock's rise is no longer being driven by vehicle sales. The biggest reason isn't that the technology has fallen behind, but that prices are still too high for the majority of American consumers, especially those who are carefully managing their retirement budgets. The newly launched Model Y standard, priced at around $40,000, is still not a truly satisfying answer. For many of us, spending that amount of money on a car that has had many interior features stripped out is a decision that requires very careful consideration. However, 2026 is beginning to open up a more realistic scenario. Why do we say that? Because signals from the Fremont factory and reports from the parts supply chain suggest that Tesla is focusing its efforts on an entirely new model. According to some rumors, this vehicle is meant to solve the cost problem. With an expected price around the $30,000 mark, it could become the first electric car that truly competes with the reliable gasoline-powered vehicles we've been used to for decades. We want to clarify one thing. For now, the 2026 timeline is still just a rumor based on internal leaks. Tesla has not released any official confirmation. But if you're planning to replace your car and want to save on operating costs over the next 10 to 15 years, the detailed information below about the Model 2's structure and battery technology may help you decide whether it's worth holding off on buying a car this year and waiting another 12 months. To understand why the Model 2 matters, we need to look at its older sibling, the newly released Model Y standard. On paper, the $39,990 price tag sounds appealing, but for those of us who have been behind the wheel for decades, the value of a product isn't in its name, it's in what it actually delivers. Many customers have expressed disappointment after realizing that, in exchange for that lower price, Tesla cut too much. Heated rear seats are gone, the sound system has been downgraded, and most importantly, the driving range has been significantly reduced. In reality, by spending just about $5,000 more, buyers can get a Model 3 or a Model Y premium with a completely different experience. It's precisely this dissatisfaction with the Model Y standard that has forced Tesla to develop an entirely new vehicle, one designed from the ground up to be affordable, rather than an expensive car that has been stripped down. And rumors about the Model 2 have begun to surface, giving us a clearer picture of what it may actually look like. Based on concrete reports from the component supply chain in China and the latest activity at the Fremont factory, several sources indicate that the Model 2 is not simply a smaller version of the Model 3. Previously, many believed Tesla was planning to produce a compact SUV, but it's becoming clear that this is not what ended up happening. Instead, the latest rumors suggest that Tesla is shifting toward an entirely new design direction the company has never offered before a completely new hatchback. Back in the day, whenever whispers started circulating about a Model Y standard, leaks from Tesla's Chinese supply chain told the same story, and time proved those insiders right. That track record makes it highly likely that the long-rumored Model 2 will arrive as a compact hatchback, noticeably smaller than the Model 3 and Model Y, and built around a design language Tesla has never used before. For a brand known almost exclusively for sedans and SUVs, this would mark Tesla's first real step into hatchback territory. Elon Musk has only shared a few key details so far, saying the car will be radically simplified but it won't borrow from any existing Tesla designs. In other words, it won't resemble the Model Y or Model 3 we already know. Tesla clearly isn't interested in building a downsized copy. Instead, the goal is to create something with its own identity, a vehicle that feels distinct and can stand on its own. That's why the Model 2 is shaping up to be an entirely new kind of hatchback. Smaller, more straightforward, built with cost-efficient materials, and priced around $30,000. From that perspective, the strategy makes more sense than ever. The real key, though, is the battery. Tesla has lined up a dedicated battery technology to make that price point viable, and surprisingly, it's far more capable than you might expect. Cattle, Tesla's longtime battery partner and the world's leading battery manufacturer, has confirmed that Tesla's upcoming affordable model will be the first vehicle to use its new Shenxing 2 battery. While it's a low-cost LFP battery, its performance is anything but modest. 
Cattle claims it delivers breakthrough charging speeds and impressive driving range, easily meeting the demands of a mass-market EV without sacrificing reliability. Tesla originally planned to use a more conventional LFP battery, but testing reportedly didn't deliver the results they were aiming for, making Shenxing 2 an unexpectedly strong replacement. So what exactly makes this battery compelling enough for Tesla to bet on it? Cattle didn't come up with this battery overnight. The company has been working on it for years, refining it through multiple generations to strike the sweet spot between strong performance and aggressive cost efficiency. And for anyone who follows battery tech, this context matters. LFP batteries already come with some big advantages, something Tesla knows well since it has relied on LFP packs in the Model 3 and Model Y for years. They're safer, last longer, and cost far less than alternatives. The trade-off, historically, has been lower energy density and slower charging. That's where Shenxing 2 changes the game. Cattle says this new battery dramatically boosts both energy density and charging speed, allowing Tesla's upcoming model to deliver long range without compromising on charging performance. According to KTL, Shenxing 2 is the world's first LFP battery capable of approaching a 500-mile driving range while supporting ultra-fast 12C charging. In real-world terms, that means adding roughly 47 miles of range in just 30 seconds, about 1.55 miles every second, and topping 320 miles of range with only 5 minutes on the charger. That's wild. Honestly, it almost sounds unreal. On paper, it's pushing performance levels that rival or even surpass anything we've heard about in battery technology so far. But it doesn't stop there. This battery also performs exceptionally well in cold weather one of the biggest pain points for electric vehicles. According to Cartel, it can charge from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes at 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than double the performance of today's industry standard. At this point, it's fair to say this is the most capable LFP battery we've ever seen. With this tech on board, the Model 2 should comfortably deliver at least 320 miles of range. And because charging is so fast, Tesla could even shrink the battery pack to around 50 kilowatt hours to keep costs in check. Bottom line, we're looking at a realistic scenario where a $30,000 Tesla still offers roughly 300 miles of range, something most competitors can't come close to at that price. If you know of any car under $30,000 that can still hit a 300 mile EPA range, drop it in the comments and prove us wrong. Even with a price tag lower than the Model Y standard, the Model 2 looks like it's meeting and in some areas surpassing what many buyers would expect. Rumors suggest the front end will be almost unrecognizable compared to past Teslas. There won't be a full-width light bar up front, but the headlights are expected to be sharper and more aggressive. Some leaks point to a design loosely inspired by the Model 3, though with slightly less powerful lighting. Still, purely from a styling perspective, it already appears more appealing than the Model Y standard. As a hatchback, the Model 2 will stand out immediately from the rest of Tesla's lineup and will be noticeably smaller than the Model Y. But here's the interesting part, that smaller size actually works in Tesla's favor. With the latest generation of gigacasting, Tesla can effectively produce the entire body structure as a single unified piece, something it hasn't been able to fully pull off with the Model Y or Model 3. That manufacturing breakthrough is one of the biggest reasons Tesla can realistically push the price below $30,000. The the fastest production ramp of, of any product, of any large complex manufactured product uh, ever. By removing a large number of unnecessary joints and panel gaps, the car ends up with a cleaner, more seamless look without losing its modern feel. Put simply, smaller vehicles are faster to cast because there are fewer parts involved. And that's why Elon Musk has hinted that this could be one of the fastest vehicles Tesla has ever been able to build on the Fremont production line. At one point, a lot of people assumed this car would come with bold door designs, falcon wing doors, or at least something unconventional like what we've seen on the Cybercab. That idea wasn't random either. The Cybercab was once rumored to be a kind of twin to this vehicle. But those expectations didn't last long. Unlike the Cybercab, which is built around Tesla's radical new unboxed manufacturing process, the Model 2 is taking a more conservative path. Tesla is sticking with a familiar assembly line setup to keep costs low and make true mass production possible. Because of that, Tesla made a practical and arguably smarter decision. Instead of chasing flashy door mechanisms, the company focused on perfecting what already works. 
The Model 2 keeps a traditional four-door layout, but nearly everything has been rethought. The hinges, the panel gaps, the door geometry, and the opening angles are all optimized for daily use. This isn't about playing it safe, it's about being realistic. Falcon wing doors may look impressive, but they add complexity, drive up costs, and require more space. For a mass market car, Tesla knows that efficiency and usability matter far more than visual drama. Another detail that will excite a lot of people is the inclusion of a front bumper camera cleanly integrated into the design. That alone says a lot. Tesla doesn't treat autonomous driving as a premium add-on. It treats it as a core part of the brand. And that's why, even as a lower-priced vehicle, the Model 2 still fits squarely into Tesla's long-term vision. In the future, owners could potentially enroll their cars into Tesla's robo-taxi network when they're not driving them, opening the door to earning extra income instead of letting the car sit idle. Inside the Model 2, Tesla is rumored to strip things back in a big way, and that could be a turnoff for some buyers, at least at first. The entire cabin is being designed around one clear objective, cutting costs without losing the core Tesla experience. The central touchscreen is expected to shrink to roughly 10.5 to 11 inches. It's smaller than the familiar 15-inch display, but it should still deliver the same fast responsiveness, smooth interface, and voice controls found in Tesla's higher-end models. The most controversial change may come down to how you actually drive the car. Rumors suggest the Model 2 will continue Tesla's move away from traditional stocks and gear selectors, following the refreshed Model 3's approach. Instead, key controls would live on capacitive touch areas built into the steering wheel. For older drivers, that learning curve could be a real hurdle. From Tesla's perspective, though, removing mechanical parts cuts costs, reduces long-term failure points, and dramatically speeds up assembly. The rest of the interior follows the same no-frills philosophy. The seats are expected to use fabric instead of vegan leather, which lowers costs but feels less premium and is harder to clean. Heated seats are reportedly gone, and the panoramic glass roof is removed, making the cabin feel more enclosed. Single-pane acoustic glass and a simplified speaker setup will likely affect both cabin quietness and sound quality. Even the ambient lighting is dialed back to a single color, functional and efficient, but clearly not aimed at luxury. Elon Musk has been very direct about this from the start. If you want premium features and a more polished driving experience, Tesla already has other models for you. The lineup needs clear separation, and the Model 2 is designed, without question, to put affordability and mass accessibility ahead of everything else. Originally, Musk said the car would be built at Giga Texas, but with CyberCab production taking priority, the plan appears to have shifted to Fremont. And interestingly, Fremont may actually be the better fit. Tesla's Fremont factory is widely seen as an ideal home for the Model 2 because it combines low-cost production with the ability to introduce new manufacturing technologies. Fremont is Tesla's oldest facility and has essentially become a living manufacturing lab where the company tests, refines, and validates new processes before scaling them across its global factory network. As discussed earlier, the Model 2 is expected to bring several major innovations, including next-generation gigacasting, a dramatically reduced parts count, new materials, and even an entirely different battery technology. Building the car at Fremont gives Tesla tighter control over risk and the flexibility to make rapid changes if problems come up. On top of that, Fremont has deep experience producing compact and mid-size vehicles like the Model 3, which shares far more DNA with the Model 2 than factories focused on large SUVs or pickup trucks, such as Giga Texas. Its close proximity to Tesla's R and D AI and autopilot teams in California also allows design, software, and manufacturing groups to work side by side, shortening debugging cycles and speeding up overall optimization. We also think building the Model 2 in the US gives Tesla several strategic advantages. It allows the company to tap into domestic manufacturing incentives reduce geopolitical risk, and market the car as an affordable, made-in-America e-fee for U.S. buyers. And while labor costs at Fremont are higher than in some overseas plants, Tesla makes up for it with decades of manufacturing experience, low defect rates, and highly optimized processes that ultimately drive down the cost per vehicle. Looking at the bigger picture, 2025 has shaped up to be a relatively underwhelming year for Tesla. Vehicle sales dropped noticeably, largely because the company failed to introduce a product that truly resonated with the broader market. 
After years of explosive growth, Tesla's lineup began to feel stagnant. The Model S and Model X cater to a very limited audience. The refreshed Model 3, while better, wasn't new enough to spark a major surge in demand, and the Cybertruck remains too niche, too expensive, and too far removed from mainstream preferences. In that environment, the Model Y standard was meant to be a sales lifeline, but instead, it ended up feeling like a miscalculated move. The biggest issue with the Model Y standard was that it gave up too much without becoming cheap enough. The smaller battery hurt driving range, and even with multiple features removed, the price still wasn't compelling, especially when stacked up against Chinese EVs and a growing number of popular hybrid options. For many buyers, it landed in an uncomfortable middle zone, not affordable enough to be the budget choice, but not good enough in range or features to justify the extra spend. As a result, a lot of customers either postponed their purchase or walked away to other brands. More importantly, the Model Y standard didn't solve Tesla's core problem in 2025, the absence of a truly new mass market vehicle built from the ground up. Instead of delivering something genuinely disruptive in both price and experience, Tesla simply trimmed down an existing product. That felt less like innovation and more like a step backward. And that's exactly why the Model Y standard not only failed to move the sales needle, but also exposed just how badly the market is waiting for a truly new car, one that many believe the Model 2 is meant to be. There's a significant gap between rumors and reality. Tesla's history shows that groundbreaking projects often come with delays. Therefore, while 2026 is being touted as a golden opportunity, we still need to exercise caution. Don't rush into decisions based on speculation. Instead, continue to observe official developments from the Fremont factory and the company's upcoming financial reports. While we wait for official confirmation, the leaked specs suggest a bright future for savvy buyers. What do you think? Is the Model 2 worth the wait, or is it just another rumor? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.